people in Tron. But now it's time for the weather. Uh, Louise Lear is here and we're looking at Eleanor. Mm, second storm this week. It's only Tuesday. Oh, nothing like, you know, just allowing us to drift easily into the new year, is it really? <laughs> This is, it's really the west and the north, isn't it? It is, and almost in a similar place actually to Dillon. It's going to be Northern Ireland, uh, Southern Scotland, close to the borders, Northwest England, and also North Wales. And overnight tonight, sort of around midnight into the early hours, four or five o'clock in the morning. So I suppose that's a little bit of positive news about it because with 70, 80 mile an hour gusts of winds, at least with most people asleep, it's not going to be perhaps quite as bad as if they were all travelling first thing in the morning. Many people are starting to get back now for the morning rush hour, aren't they? Yeah, well, I read there could be possible disruption. There could be possible disruption. <laughs> You're quite right, Simon. <laughs> yes, it is best to not listen to him and listen to me for the next three hours if you want to know what's happening with the weather. That is my advice. But I'll tell you more about Storm Eileen. And in fact, if we take a look at... Oh, I called her Eileen, oh, Eleanor. It's Eleanor. <laughs> Whoops. Um, we take a look at the satellite picture. There's cloud and rain sweeping its way steadily east. This is Eleanor moving into Northern Ireland as we speak. Now, there's going to be a lot of heavy rain, but it is the strength of the wind that we're really concerned about. Now, Severe gales are likely, and that is gusts of winds in excess of 60 to 70 miles an hour, but we might see in some places 70 to 80. Across Northern Ireland, as I say, Scottish borders down into northwest England and to North Wales, and that's just the southern flank of that low where the strongest of the winds are likely to be. So during the early hours, and this is taking a look sort of from midnight through to 5 a.m., the strong winds will be to the northwest of the Pennines, but then as we go through the morning, transferring to the east of the Pennines as well. So it's going to be a windy start. That's going to be strong enough to cause some disruption, possibly even some travel disruption as well. The wind's not quite as bad, actually, in the far north of Scotland. Here for you tomorrow morning, start cold and frosty. But elsewhere, even at 8 o'clock, we're looking at 30, 40 mile an hour gusts of winds. And further south, still the potential for 50 to 60 mile an hour gusts of winds through the Channel and through the Bristol Channel. So that's going to make for some very rough seas. High-sided vehicles take note as well. Also be a trail of showers. Now the showers could be heavy with hail, with thunder, a little bit of snow to higher ground as well in the far north of Scotland. So a pretty miserable day and because of the strength of the wind it's going to blow those showers further inland. By the end of the day across central and southern areas maybe the showers will ease and not looking too bad and here it's going to be mild still 10 or 11 degrees further north we're still seeing temperatures into single figures but as we move out of Wednesday into Thursday there's another area of low pressure it's a really unsettled week in actual fact more isobars squeezing together the strongest of the winds into the southwest and again some heavy rain with it so gales on exposed coasts through the channel up through the southwest it drives that rain across the country but it will linger through Northern Ireland and Southern Scotland for much of the day on Thursday but behind it hopefully a little bit brighter. Now, once we lose that area of low pressure, and it'll take its time to do so on Friday, things are set to get just that little bit colder. So if you don't like this kind of weather, you might be a little bit happier with this story as a cold northerly wind kicks in, drier with more sunshine, but look at those temperatures really taking a tumble. Let's catch up with the weather. Here is Louise Lear. Hello there. Well, the Christmas and New Year festivities are long gone now. Some of us are all a little bit gloomy. The weather, no exception either. Grey skies today and there's been some rain, some of it quite heavy. And it looks as though the week shaping up is going to be windy, stormy at times with some rain around as well. Now, there's a blanket of cloud right across the country, hence the grey story today. And there's been some rain, some of it heavy as it moves its way west to east. But it's only going to be replaced by another area of low pressure. This is Storm Eleanor, and it arrives through the night. Now, the reason it's been a named storm is due to the strength of the wind. Severe gales on the southern flank closest to that centre of low pressure. So as we go through the overnight period, we'll see gusts of winds in excess of 70 miles an hour easing away from Northern Ireland, pushing its way into the Scottish borders and the northwest of England. So 70, 80 mile an hour winds not out of the question, and that's going to be strong enough potentially to cause some disruption and certainly the potential for some disruption for your early morning travelling. Now, the wind's not quite as strong, though, further north. So on Wednesday morning in Scotland, it's not going to be too bad. But we'll still see, even at 8 o'clock, winds in excess of 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts across Northern Ireland. 
and into northern England. There'll be a scattering of showers out to the west and some of these will push a little bit further inland. Quieter in terms of the showers further south, but the wind strengths are going to be stormy and that's going to make for some rough seas as well. As we go through the afternoon, that wind will continue to drive those showers in from the west, some of them pushing a little bit further inland and some merging together for longer spells of rain into the far northwest of Scotland. Here we'll see temperatures into single figures, double digits further south and west. So let's move out of Wednesday. A slight lull in proceedings through Wednesday night into the early hours of Thursday morning. We do it all again. Another area of low pressure pushing in from the southwest. Now, at least with the southwesterly wind, it's still going to be pretty mild, but it will be wet at times. Some heavy rain moving across England and Wales. It'll linger for a time through Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland for much of the day. And those temperatures here a little more disappointing. Now, the wind direction will change as we move into Friday. A northerly kicks in. That's going to turn things a little colder and possibly a little wintry. Take care. Let's get a weather update. Louise Lear has the latest. Hello there. It's been a feisty start to the new year, hasn't it, with two storms already. Now, this is actually Storm Eleanor that arrives through the night across Northern Ireland, eventually affecting southern Scotland and northwest England in particular, with severe gales quite likely. We could see the strongest of the winds easing away through the overnight period, but nevertheless, with gusts of winds expected of 70 mile an hour plus, that could bring some damage. And there will be some hill snow as well across the central borders of Scotland through the night. The strongest of the winds first thing tomorrow morning though likely to be across northwest England and the Scottish borders 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts and as the storm pulls away we'll see some strong winds to the east of the Pennines too. So it's a blustery day there'll be plenty of showers even once the low eases away the showers driven along and further inland by this westerly wind so it's not going to be particularly pleasant out there. If you dodge the showers you'll perhaps see highest values of around 10 or 11 degrees 3 to 7 further north. Now, time for a look at the weather. Louise Lear has that. Hello there. Well, the Christmas and New Year festivities are long gone now. Some of us are all a little bit gloomy. The weather, no exception either. Grey skies today and there's been some rain, some of it quite heavy. And it looks as though the week shaping up is going to be windy, stormy at times with some rain around as well. Now, there's a blanket of cloud right across the country, hence the grey story today. And there's been some rain, some of it heavy as it moves its way west to east, but it's only going to be replaced by another area of low pressure. This is Storm Eleanor, and it arrives through the night. Now, the reason it's been a named storm is due to the strength of the wind. Severe gales on the southern flank closest to that centre of low pressure. So as we go through the overnight period, we'll see gusts of winds in excess of 70 miles an hour easing away from Northern Ireland, pushing its way into the Scottish borders and the northwest of England. So 70, 80 mile an hour winds not out of the question. And that's going to be strong enough potentially to cause some disruption and certainly the potential for some disruption for your early morning travelling. Now, the wind's not quite as strong, though, further north. So on Wednesday morning in Scotland, it's not going to be too bad. But we'll still see, even at 8 o'clock, winds in excess of 30 to 40 mile an hour gusts across Northern Ireland and into northern England. There'll be a scattering of showers out to the west, and some of these will push a little bit further inland. Quieter in terms of the showers further south, but the wind strengths are going to be stormy, and that's going to make for some rough seas as well. As we go through the afternoon, that wind will continue to drive those showers in from the west, some of them pushing a little bit further inland, and some merging together for longer spells of rain into the far northwest of Scotland. Here we'll see temperatures into single figures, double digits further south and west. So let's move out of Wednesday. A slight lull in proceedings through Wednesday night into the early hours of Thursday morning. We do it all again. Another area of low pressure pushing in from the southwest. Now, at least with the southwesterly wind, it's still going to be pretty mild, but it will be wet at times. Some heavy rain moving across England and Wales. It'll linger for a time through Northern Ireland, central and southern Scotland for much of the day. And those temperatures here a little more disappointing. Now, the wind direction will change as we move into Friday. A northerly kicks in. That's going to turn things a little colder and possibly a little wintry. Take care. You're watching Afternoon Live. Let's have a look at the weather. Louise Lear is here. It's unsettled. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not a laughing matter. I've started, well, it, it's not a laughing matter, but I'm starting with a crib sheet. If you were watching a couple of hours ago, I called it Eileen. This is actually, this is my New Year's resolution. I'm rubbish at names. <laughs> I'm supposed to be doing name associations, so if I call you Ben this afternoon, you know, don't be offended, will you?
anyway. Yeah, how awkward was that? There we are, back at you. So, uh, but we're looking at the north rather than the southeast, just a bit wet. No. Ah. Things have changed a little bit. This storm is developing, Simon. Oh, thank you for leaving. Should we do this again? We, start? we do know what we're talking about here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, we have got a storm at the moment. It's the second named storm this week, and it's only Tuesday. Eleanor, severe gales. Now, it's likely, Simon, you're listening, Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, North West England, but now along the coast of Wales and the South West as well. The only slight good news to come out of this storm is that the strongest of the winds happen overnight tonight, so hopefully most of us will be tucked up safely in bed. But there is a potential for some disruption, so we need to keep a close eye on that one, and it may well cause some travel disruptions as well. Now, you can start to see the first signs of Eleanor. Here she is pushing into Northern Ireland as we speak, and winds are starting to strengthen, gusts in excess of 35 miles an hour in the last couple of hours. So she will strengthen, and the storm is going to continue to track in. Now, it's the southern flank around the... At south where we really will see the strongest of the winds but anywhere on those exposed west coasts potentially seeing severe gales as we go through the night and first thing tomorrow morning so they'll move out of northern ireland we'll see 70 to 80 mile an hour gusts around about midnight and into the early hours and you can see strongest gusts of winds 60 miles an hour perhaps potentially across into wales some very rough seas through the bristol channel and down across that channel coast with gusts of winds here 70 80 miles an hour so it is going to be pretty stormy first thing in the morning and for your early morning commute as well, we're still going to potentially see gusts of winds 40 to 60 miles an hour across England and Wales, coupled with some pretty sharp showers, heavy hail, with maybe even some rumbles of thunder mixed in there as well. And the showers merging together for longer spells of rain, perhaps into western coasts of Scotland. But here, look at the winds. Not as strong here. We're looking at gusts of winds between around 7 to 15 miles an hour. So not a blustery day into Scotland. And actually into the far northeast, it will stay cold with some sunshine. So temperatures are going to reflect that in just a moment. But the showers will rattle in with those gale force or severe gales throughout the day. The wind's slowly easing down. Highs of around 8 to 10 but maybe just a little bit colder where we keep the clear skies, but the sunshine in the far northeast of Scotland. Now, it looks as though there's another area of low pressure set to arrive during Thursday. So a very wet and windy first week of January, really. The heaviest of the rain, the strongest of the winds looks likely with this one down to the southwest. So we'll see gales or severe gales, at least coming from a southwesterly direction. So a relatively mild source. The rain will linger across southern Scotland and northern England for much of the day on Thursday. It's slowly eases away and as we go into the weekend look at this the ice of ours start to filter down from the north be careful what you wish for because it does look as though we're going to start to lose the stormy weather but something just that little bit colder arrives on saturday so if you don't like the cold weather i'm afraid you'll need to wrap up warm but at least we'll get a little bit of sunshine to go with it that's it uh, from your afternoon live team for today next to the bbc news at five with jane hill but before all that let's get a weather update from the one the only Louise Lear. Thanks, Simon. That's completely acceptable. You can say that every time. Good afternoon, everybody. It's stormy out there, and the storm arrives overnight tonight. It's Storm Eleanor pushing in from the Atlantic. You can see these tightly squeezed isobars. It is the wind strength that's the real issue with this storm, not just the amounts of rain. There will be some rain. Actually, there'll be some snow and blizzard-like conditions across the higher ground of Scotland. Not particularly pleasant. But it is the wind strength that's the real cause for concern. Gusting in excess of 70 to 80 mile an hour during the early hours of Wednesday morning across southern Scotland, northern England. Some pretty strong gale force or severe gales through Wales and southwest England. Some very rough seas. It's going to be an issue, I suspect, with travelling um, on ferry <coughs> as we go through the early hours of Wednesday morning. Now, the showers will continue to rattle in, some of them heavy, with some hail and some thunder. The winds will slowly ease, but it is going to be a windy day for all of us tomorrow. 10 or 11 degrees across the south, so mild with it. Cooler in the far northeast here, slightly lighter winds and highs of just 4 degrees. More for me coming up in half an hour's time. <laughs>